damn it. Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here we have today from the Gumpla Hunter himself is the figure I standard, Diver Ayame. So this figure, ever since it was announced, I have been super hyped because I believe that Ayame is probably the best highlight of the Build Diver series. Maybe some people might not agree with me, but you know, honestly, Ninja Girls, and she's very cute, and I kind of like her backstory, the fact that she, you know, had a little group that only specialized in SD Gundams. I think that was actually pretty cool, and I've really gotten into SD Gundams pretty much since the Build Diver series came out. So I was like, you know what? This is actually a really cool character. I can kind of resonate a little bit with her. And on top of that, she's just really cool aesthetically and pretty cute. So I'm pretty hyped about this kit. Maybe not as much as the MG Dynamis, but I'll get that you know kit out there before I get this kit done. So you know, kind of get a good blend of awesomeness, some good things for you and some good things for me. But regardless, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. And don't forget you can pick this up over at newtypehq.com and use that promo code Krosama for 10% off. So looking at the box cover art, I think it just looks super good. Uh, you have her in a very stylized ninja pose, and you also have the version of her without her little face scarf. This was released in March of 2019, and you can find it retail for about $22. Now even though this is technically a part of the figure eye standard line, it looks like they're going to continue it a part of like the high grade line, so this will be number 28 in that line. Now one aspect I'm seeing a massive improvement on with the figure eye standard line is that now with this kid in particular, she's going to have multiple different face mask and I know some of the DBZ line actually does have multiple face masks uh, but I think this is very unique when it comes to the build divers because or at least the you know Gundam kind of universe so you are gonna get three different face masks but not only that you're actually gonna get a water slide sheet full of different eyes and I man that makes me super happy because not only can I just like you know mix and match a different uh, types of like facial expressions but I can actually save these for maybe some other kits in the future so that's actually a really cool aspect and she's looking pretty cool with the kunai and the face mask. And you can see here she is going to have multiple different types of hands. Uh, so basically an open expressive as well as one that can grip the kunai. And if you look further down she can actually go into a bus mode. And right here they're going to just kind of show you what you can do with the bus mode. As well as having her just you know really cut up to a bear guy. Here is a front and rear shot. And some information on her if you want to go ahead and read that. And time to open. So the first runner we're going to take a look at is going to be runner A1. Now there's going to be a lot of your joints right up here and then some leg parts which is going to be cast in a very nice purple. And runner A2 is going to be a very nice bright purple uh, but this is going to be a lot for maybe the arms and the uh, parts for the shoulders I believe. So this is going to be parts for the hair, you got the little face mask right down here, you got a little kunai. Uh, moving on you also are going to have that ass. And here's going to be runner C1, C2, so C2 being a smaller part. Uh, but you are going to have parts for the bust that's going to be here. Uh, this looks like going to be parts for the waist, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it looks like it's just going to be more, more for the skirt. You got the... Um... Nice. And then the parts for the back right over here. Runner D2 is just going to be some nice little yellow. And you get two runner E's, so this is going to be for the waist. And you got parts for the feet right over here. Uh, not too sure what this side is going to be for, but uh, you know, as I build it, I'll probably go ahead and realize what it is. <laughs> so just going back to runner E once again, I didn't realize I had it flipped on the opposite end. Uh, but these are actually the eyes. So yeah, they actually have the kind of eye, you know, pupils and everything. Uh, all filled in so if you really want to paint this you can easily do so since it's all going to be separated and that might be something I will entertain but just for the fact that it comes with water slides I'll probably just stick with that to be completely honest and what it looks like is you're going to use these eyes over here or this kind of face plate to do the uh, the water slides or stickers since it's all smooth and then on this side, you can actually just go ahead and paint all the, all that in. So that's really, really awesome. And you're going to get two runner E's. So that means you're getting double of all of this. That's 
Man, that's actually pretty damn cool. And runner F is gonna be, once again, that nice bright purple. Uh, this looks like it's just gonna be for the hands as well as the arms. Two runner G, which is going to be the red, so this is going to be her scarf. And for the flesh color parts, you are just gonna have all the exposed flesh, so you got like parts for the legs, uh, you do have parts for the arms, and the face is gonna be coming up. And here it is, runner D1, so this is actually going to be the last runner in all of these, which quite a bit of runners if I do say so myself but it's gonna be all your little face plates so obviously it's gonna be the, uh, the one for the mask and then you're gonna have some more neutral ones uh thought there was one with her smiling oh I guess this is it right here so this is like her little smiling face which is pretty damn scary but nonetheless uh looks like it's gonna be pretty good and I'm I'm really excited about it and you are gonna get a stand and both your water slide as well as your sticker sheet so man um i've already seen the water slide sheet you know quite a bit ago whenever they did uh release it and kind of like i think it was out of the magazine or it was just on the online shop but uh, i did see the little sparkle eyes and that's probably what i'm going to go for for at least one of the face plates and then you got some just nice little eyes over here and then some of the same eyes right over here and you're also going to have some of these little white stickers is going to go on the uh the knee or kind of like more thigh part of her but that can easily be painted so that's probably what i'm gonna do and then just looking at the manual so pretty much your standard manual you got some nice color in here so you know I, i'm always all for the uh the color manuals but i know it's probably going to cost them a little bit extra money so they try not to do the entire thing but yeah uh over here they are going to show you exactly how to do the water slide and they are going to have english in that so if you are unsure of how to actually you know do water slides hey this could be your first time and you know they got a how to right here and if you want you can check out my uh, i actually have a youtube uh, tutorial so if you are a little bit unsure how to do them definitely check out that video and it should give you a better understanding but going through the rest of this nothing really too spectacular you are gonna have the color guide right there some more little poses you have her weapon right there and that's pretty much it so a lot of things that you've already seen on the uh, the box so that's it guys uh, definitely appreciate all of you for watching I'm gonna try and get this done over the weekend uh, as soon as I get the Master Grade Dynamis uh, done but yeah, I will definitely get this to y'all and hopefully this is going to live up to my expectation as is for many others. But that's it for me guys. If you do want to pick up this kit, make sure you check out NewTypeHQ.com. So if you want this, I would recommend you getting it because I do have a feeling it's going to be a hot ticket item. Uh, so maybe you know pre-order as soon as you can or if you want to wait, you know it should maybe still be in the store. But that's it for me guys. Definitely appreciate you for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.